Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a super quick and easy tutorial on how you can add your own custom fonts to iMovie. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and look up a site where you can find the font you're looking for. So, the example I'm going to go with is a site called DaFont and it's um, something I've been using for a while and it's a really easy website to download fonts from but the good thing is you can actually download fonts from anywhere so it doesn't have to be this site in particular so for an example we'll just go to I don't know the groovy fonts for example and we just want to make sure that when we're downloading the fonts we have hundred percent free if you do want to use this for uh, YouTube purposes just to make sure you don't run into any copyright problems um, and then once you do that you can just kind of go through the fonts and pick whichever one you want to go for so I don't know, let's go with Prisma, that, that looks kind of cool. So all you have to do is download the Prisma font and it will automatically go to your downloads folder. So when you go to the downloads folder, you just wanna make sure that you have the font installed by double clicking on it and pressing install font. Um, because when you download it initially from Safari, it doesn't install automatically. So you just have to make sure that it's installed to your computer. Then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go back to your iMovie project and add the uh, the font into the timeline. Then you're gonna go up to fonts here and you obviously have the default fonts that iMovie gives you to choose from, but if you want to get the font that you custom downloaded, you're just gonna go down to show fonts. When you go to show fonts, here you can search in the custom, um, custom font that you just downloaded. So ours was called Prisma. Just go to the all font section right here and then we search in Prisma, and there you go right there, uh, your font is available. Um, you notice that the font didn't change. That's because we didn't actually have it highlighted. So when you're changing it, just make sure you have the font highlighted, then go to show fonts, press Prisma, and as you can see, the brand new custom font is installed on our video. So that's basically it for this tutorial. If you guys have any more questions about fonts, I know they can get a little bit complicated with iMovie because it's just super tedious and they really don't make it as easy as other platforms. Just let me know and I'm happy to help. Um, but that does it for this one. 